Good morning, sheep fans. Cammy's the name Sheep's the game. Today he's going to sell some sheep. <laughs> Good morning, sheep fans. Cammy's the name. Sheep's the game. Ferns off on one. Lizzie's after her. We are gathering some sheep in this morning. Back to a sort of daily vlog type thing. I had a little break there after lambing. Was definitely worn out. Definitely worn out. Um, yeah, we took on quite a lot this spring. We're lambing about 750 sheep over. Really, they were lambed over 18 days, and they were in five different locations. It was it was a lot of graft, and we'll probably do something different next year, but we'll talk about that at some point, I'm sure. Well, talk about it just now. The differences will be, we'll do the cross shows and the, the sheep in the shed from the 1st of April, and the cheviots and everything outside, like these girls here. We'll start from the 15th of April. Yes, it'll drag the whole thing on a bit longer, but it should make it a lot more enjoyable, better paced. It's absolute carnage to be honest with you. Just flat out constantly and try to do the vlogs, which are now, crazily, a really important part of the business and keeping money coming in at a lean time of year. So yeah, well, that's not really an option, it had to be done. But yes, sheep today to market. These are, well, what we call these, the disaster stories. These are the sheep here that Lizzie's running for. Whee! These are the sheep here that either rejected their own lambs, had a, a dead lamb and didn't accept another lamb with the head yolks. There was a couple of them. They didn't have milk or problems with their teats. Just all the sort of bad stories. Some of them you'll have seen in the vlog, of course. Some of them you won't have. Most of them are out the shed. I don't think there's many cheviots that ended up here. Some of them have, have lost a lamb uh, before lambing. You know, they've aborted pre-lambing. There's actually two or three like that. And I think that's it. A couple of Yale Cheviots. They're just ones that were never in lamb because of course we didn't scan them. So we haven't got rid of them yet. So that is what we're getting in today. And we're going to take a little run down the air market. <laughs> Now we have a real pen of odds and sods to take to the market. Let's go. Hey, oh, big man, you're right. <laughs> know how Mantro goes. Yeah, I've seen the sheep game before. Yeah, have you watch it every week? What does he say? He says Cammy's the name, sheep's the game. Yep. I don't know yeah, you do. Are you getting so, nervous? Go, do it, do it. Hey, this isn't live, so it's like you can say anything you want. You can say like bad words and all that, don't know. Yeah. But like it's not live, <laughs> so, so even if you get it wrong, we just do it again. Aye. Do you know what I mean? So it's not like any pressure, just relax. It's not like live TV. I can say and I could say Sammy's the name. Ah, uh, no, it's no. Right, go again. Cammy's the name, sheep's the game. See what I mean? You just edit it. Yeah. Good morning, sheep fans. Cammy's the name Sheep's the Game. Today he's going to sell some sheep. <laughs> so here is the sheep, a little bit closer up. Not a pretty pen of sheep, but I've explained why that is. And this is Michael from the market just drawing them into their batches based on their body score condition and their breed. Lovely hogs in here today. Oh, some spring lambs. They're the oh, game, hey. Smile, smile nicely. Good, good looking lambs, aim, hey. Yes. There's some good looking hogs here as well. Absolute monsters. Okay, so we've just jumped to me in the pickup again. I got distracted talking at the market and I missed the sheep being sold. It happens. Great thing about the markets is you get plenty of crack, which is um, a Scottish Irish phrase for patter, chat, gossip, banter, discussion. Although that sounds far too educated for me. And we've got a line here, I'll take a photo of it on my phone, put it up on the screen, talk you through it very quickly. Trade was back a little bit because I was a week late. I should have had them in last week because that was the last sort of big sale week for Eid, I believe it's called, or Ramadan. I was had in my head, if we got £100 ahead, I'd be quite happy. So as you see there, 
We had this Skittery Blackface U, £68. A Texel U there, I'm not even sure what she was. Oh, that was that Texel Gimmer, didn't like a lamp, £110. She gave us a lamb last year as a hog and nothing this year. So she certainly doesn't owe us anything there at £110, that's pretty good. Uh, we then have three U's at £112, that was cross shows. Some of them have been homebred, some were bought in. Two at £74 were a bit poorer condition. I didn't really pay much attention to the condition of them or put my hand on their back because to be honest with you, with Massey, it's just another job. Like having a field full of non-productive sheep, as we'll call them, is another job. It's another lot to get in, to get dagged, to do with Crovec, to prevent fly strike. It's then another lot to gather in and shear. Um, and then, like I'm not going to use them again anyway. I would only really do that if I was wanting to fatten them up and maximise the return, which of course is always what you should be trying to do with your stock. But I'm also thinking about the workload, especially this summer when I'm away shearing. So we got them away just now, and it's one less job to worry about. Then had a good pen at 105. Those Chivates at 105. The two smaller ones were my own uh, older ewes that I had for a while, but the ones at £105 would be those Laird types, which I paid £78 for. So, really, you know, you've made 20 something, you know, £27 on them, minus your wintering and stuff. But you've not really lost much, you know. It, it's worked too okay. Well, it's not worked too great because it'd be better if they had a lamb, but it's not the end of the world. So, that's where we are. How many sheep was that? That was 17 sheep, and we're home with £1,547 in our pocket for some old Jews. Well, they weren't all old, but for some sheep that are not productive, either they had problems with their vessel, their bag, teats, uh, wouldn't take a lamb, um, various reasons like that is how they've ended up there. So, of course, it's another really helpful check at this time of year, which for virtually every sheep farmer is a pretty lean time of year in terms of income. It's nice to have an extra couple of pounds to put in the bank, pay the feed bill. Let's go on to the next job. Okay, so, it's warm, jumper off. The next job is to get some sheep in that we've shot off into a little field and we're gonna mark the lambs, ring the tails, put some ear tags in, record them on flock watch, all these things, but what we're doing that's a bit more excitement, Meg, please, I'm on the YouTube. We are taking the pups, much to Lizzie's dismay. We'll see what happens. A couple of things, I, I should say. Big fit ewes. Fit lambs, not too worried about them running a bit if the pups get a bit excited. Other thing is, apart from the bit I did on Landward, the pups haven't really been at sheep at all. And another thing I should say is that you shouldn't really take two pups out together like this that are untrained, they just give each other bad habits. But this is more a bit of fun just to let's see what they think of the sheep. I mean, it could be an absolute disaster and I could really regret it. What do you think, pups? Mac? Hey, what are you saying? What are you saying, boy? Bit of fun? Positive vibes? No, Lizzie's, Lizzie's a very busy person. She doesn't have time for these things, and she's quite right, but we'll see what happens. There, loose guy. Good dog. Come by. Shh. Come by. Pups on that bothered. Come by. Shh. She's too fast for these pups. See what you think when these sheep come down the road. So we're working away steady here. Pups are up front. Still no interest in sheep. In fact, they look absolutely terrified. This mad Shetland that we've still. Let me tell you a story here. This mad Shetland that's breaking away. There do. Oh, Fern's gonna absolutely terrorise her. Here we go. This mad Shetland that's breaking away. That those lamb. Those two other sheep. So the black Shetland. The two other sheep are her lambs. Genuinely. We caught that lamb the other day and put it in the pens up there. It's back in here. They're stone mad. She is mental. The last two times we've caught her, we've had to basically hound her into a corner with the bike and catch her with the dogs because she's stone mad. You see her try to break away there. Thankfully, she's got a wee lamb to hold her back now. <laughs> what are you? No, what are you? Look at that. Great set of twins, lass. Just a shame you wouldn't let us take this one to market. That's a blue faced Lester lamb that's on her there. What an absolute belter. Quite a you. 
It's for the reason she has so much character that we actually don't really want to get rid of her. She's just, like, we don't want her either. But, you know, I don't really want to get rid of her. Early Meg! Somebody help me! Early Meg! So we're right at the gate here. Hopefully nobody follows this Shetland's example. Ah, they're all right, we... Stop it. Lie down. Fly in the mouth. Right, Mad Shetland. Just go the right way, please. There's a half-bred seen the gate. Got a lame lamb there, possibly a bit of joint ill. Deal with that. Come by. Lie down. Lie down. Oh, you rascal. That'll do, Meg. That'll do, Meg. That'll do, Meg. One in here. Lie down. They're so clever. Like, they're just smart, very smart sheep. Let's do some work with them. Where'd the pups go? Oh, we pups. Pups. Puppies. You big hardy sheep dogs. Come on, pups. Come on, pups. Come on, pups. Come on, pups. Come on, Jess. Mac, look at you wee scaredy cats. He's too fear. He's too fear. Eh? Come on, let's go now. You wee scaredy cats. Never seen sheep like that, have you? And as if on cue, we've brought these sheep in to do a bit of work. The Shetlands are gone. As they always do. Absolute rascals, like, they just, they'll jump anything, go through any gap. They're good. Don't get me wrong, it is a big gap. Like, but notice no other mad sheep do it. And hey, hey, here, outside, outside. Lie down, lie down. Oh, oh, fern, you rascal. Stand your ground. So, as before, we are on the double dose of Rykobin for adult fluke. These ewes are in much better condition than the last lot you saw us do, mainly because they've never been in the shed. And I do notice a huge difference in condition between the sheep that don't go in and the sheep that do go in. Albeit, most of the ones that were inside were gimmers, so they naturally will find it a little bit harder. A gimmer is a two-year-old sheep. Young sheep, generally, with us, are first time lambing. These girls know the job a bit better. My favourite sheep here, my favourite sheep, double tagged. In the one ear because she lost the other one. Big Texel. Camera didn't see it, Lizzie. Camera didn't see it. You thought it was a bottle of click. Easy done. This is a the click bottle where you hold it upright and the Covex you hold it the other way so it does get confusing. Follow the gun again. Oh, watch my eyes. So, why, uh, this is, uh, I noticed you're wearing your hockey top today, Lizzie. Um, what, number 14, why is that? Why am I wearing it or why is oh, it? Not? It's number 14 a position. Uh, no, no. Did you play hockey? Uh, <laughs> Quite tall for hockey, are you not? No. Uh, no. Did you win any games? Aye, uh, plenty. But yeah. I was a defender, so. All oh, right, because you're solid. Saving games. Uh, and uh, what club were you with? Teen. Teen. Uh, Where are they? South Devon. South Devon. Uh, right. Okay. Uh, the B squad. That's. Ah, right. How many players in a hockey team? Yeah. You obviously took it very seriously. Yeah, no, you obviously took it very seriously. I think it is 11, but... Beautifully done. Beautiful example of how to covect. A little wider spray, perhaps. That's it. Lovely, lovely, well covered. Perfect. Perfect demonstration. Always, always up the way at the back, folks, because then you don't waste so much. Lovely demonstration, Lizzie. I've taught you so well. <laughs> I've taught you so well. Right. Oh, oh, sorry, Lizzie. I was too busy. Look at the size of it. She's a big sheep, isn't she? Oh, don't jump that. Oh, lass, you'll wreck that gate. You're too big. You're a big sheep. So you see, we've dagged, dagged all the tails. Crovec, adult fluke dose. I highlight that because it's why we're using the cheap white wormer because adult fluke is easy to kill. Uh, 
two halves. <laughs> there you go. I don't know if I would say this is something special or something rather embarrassing, but we have a Valley Black Nose crossed Jacob. It's a weather. I was supposed to sell it. It's in quite good condition, actually. I was supposed to sell it. Never get round to getting photos, and we've kept this thing all winter. That's what you call amateur farming, I would say. There's a, that's a good way to lose money, but hopefully we'll get it sold. Now it's maybe too big and ugly. No one will want it, but we'll try. <laughs> Go easy on me. It's a dagging comb that we've been doing tails with for about two weeks. <laughs> it's not the sharpest. These are the little Jacob lambs. They come out black, but they're good shapes. A rather delicious job done there, if I do say so myself. That's enough. Oh, right, stiff gate. Okay, so yeah, we're going to put these sheep out now across the road. Bro, job in a day like this. Very muggy today here, so that's like um, muggy is close. Let's see, humid's not the right term, is it? Well, it's kind of humid. Yeah, just close uh, kind of weather. Really good weather for flies, I would say. Great weather for grass growth. Like, grass will grow in this weather, but it's very good for flies as well. So that's why we're really trying to get onto it this week and get through the work. Okay, sheep fans, so that is us finished for today. Day. We've been out just checking the sheep and doing the evening rounds there and this just got dropped off. I got a hire car from um, Landward. We're doing a bit of travelling this week. We're going to Gala Shields, we're going to Aberdeen and we're going to Sunny May Bowl. Um, so we've got a car uh, to take us there this week. Pretty cool. But the good thing is I can get my truck in to get the brakes sorted because they are absolutely trashed. It really needs done. I've just not had a chance to get them in so this is the solution to that ideal timing that will go in tomorrow so it's a beautiful evening here in Ayrshire Meg's going to get put away and I'm going to go home for my dinner thanks for watching sheep fans we'll see you for the next one